What's going on guys? Uh, nope, I cannot say that because the last time I said that, the comment section literally imploded on itself and everyone's like, who the hell is this guy? That is not Alex from Fitment Industries. So, what's going on guys? Gels from Fitment Industries coming at you today and today we got some boxes to open. And you're probably already saying this one's already open, this one's already open, but I have not seen them yet. Someone got happy when they came in and had to see them before I did, but this is the first time I'm seeing them. We're going to open them up today and we have some ESM wheels here today to go over. So if you guys aren't familiar with ESM wheels, they're a fairly newer company. They started back in 2002. Um, they started doing uh, a lot of smaller wheels, like 16 inch diameter wheels. It was like one of their first wheels that they did. And one of their first ones was the ESM002, which we have right here in front of us. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. I don't need this, don't want to have that in my hand. All right, so here we have the ESM002R in white finish, polished lip. Like I said, these are uh, these are cast wheels, single piece. So this, one, this one's got a white face on it. This one here is a 15 by nine. I believe for like the smaller size, like the 15s, they come in either a 15 by eight or like a 15 by nine. Uh, once you start getting up to in the 17s, then you start seeing your nine and a half, 10 inch wheels and stuff like that. But for smaller wheels, eight and nine is about the width that you're gonna see with these. So first look at these, um, kind of reminds me of like a BBS style wheel is kind of what they were going after here. Um, so it's a it's like a mesh multi-spoke design. You got your, your cover here, you got to cover the lug nuts. Looks like a nice finish on it. You got your gold hardware. I believe that there's multiple colors that these ones come in. I believe you can get like a black and a silver and then you can get like different colored hardware as well, I believe. Yeah, it looks like a, looks like a pretty decent wheel. Um, you probably see a lot of these, a lot especially in the smaller sizes be run on like, um, like your older Euros and uh, like older JDM cars, like, like your older Civic hatches and stuff like that. You probably see a lot of these. All right, so next up we got a ESM004M. I believe this is a bigger wheel, yep. So it looks like kind of got the same styling going on in this one. All right, so instead of white face, we got like a copper or goldish face on this wheel. Again, the multi-spoke mesh design. Looks like it's got a little bit of a convex look to it. You know, the spokes are being pulled back a little bit rather than like a concave where the spokes fall in. Um, again, we see the lug cover here. So you get that nice hidden look again. So this is a 17 by 10. It looks like they, they've done a pretty good job on it. I'm looking kind of like in the corners here and everything. Um, yeah, it looks pretty clean. Uh, black hardware on this one, like I said, I think believe you depending on which color face you get depends on kind of the color hardware. So yeah, these are these are all one piece cast wheels. I believe they are starting to do flow forge as well. Or flow forming, flow forge. And I believe that we have some of those in these boxes here. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to those. Because nobody has seen those yet. No one, those are those came right off the pallet and they're not open. I don't know where I should <laughs> where I should throw these. Alright, so first up we have this guy here. And this is a ESM FF1. I'll give you a guess as what the FM or the FF stands for in this one. And I guess most of you probably got it. It means full forge. So we're looking at a rotary forge, full forge wheel here. As you know, that's uh, what a lot of companies are trying to do right now. Get into the flow forging, it's really popular. It's what people are looking for when they're going to buy a wheel, especially like a cast wheel or, or an entry level wheel that's not gonna break the bank. All right, we got a little cover on this one. Making a mess out here, Greg. <laughs> so this is the FF1. And like I said, this is a, a Flow Forge wheel. This is a, a little more of a modern design, I would say. Um, looking at the ones that we just unboxed, or those kind of remind me of like an old school, kind of a BBS um, look to them. This, looking at it, kind of looks like, like I said, more of a modern design. More of your flat face here. You got a concave look. So we got the exposed lugs rather than the cover, like on the, the cast ones. And this looks like a very sharp wheel. I actually kind of really like these. So yeah, this one is the FF1. This uh, this one here is a 18 by nine and a half. So like I said, we're going up diameter size in the wheel. We're gonna start seeing a little bit wider. I can see running these on more like modern cars versus uh, the other ones that we just looked at. Um, yeah, overall, it looks like a really sharp wheel. I like that they're, they're kind of stepping up the game a bit. They're getting into the flow forging uh, versus the cast. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the other one here. I believe it, it's the same model, but it might be a different finish. So looking at the sticker here, yep, we got a, this is an 18 by 11, so a little bit, a little bit wider, um, but it is also a FF1 just like this. I can already tell I like this one. It's probably my favorite one so far. Knock that off here. This is my box cutter. I am such a klutz. 
probably shouldn't let me handle wheels, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can tell, but this is my favorite one that uh, I've seen so far, actually. It is a matte cop or a matte bronze finish or a satin bronze finish. I don't know why I'm a sucker for this color. I think it looks good on pretty much any color vehicle you can go with. But again, we're looking at the same, this is FF1, we're looking at the same style here. This is an 11 wide versus the nine and a half. I think this is the only design that they have in their Flow Forward series right now. I think they're starting to just get into it. This is my actually first look at uh, ESM wheels. So coming from the, the cast ones to this, I can definitely say that I don't think I would mind running a set of these on my car. I actually really like the design. I like the, I like the finishes. I especially love uh, the bronze here. I believe they come in a bronze, silver, and a black. Um, I'm not sure about any other, other colors, but yeah, I really enjoy these. So yeah, that's my first look at some ESM wheels. Probably some of your guys' first look at them too, especially probably the Flow Forge series. Overall, I think they're a pretty decent wheel. I, I wouldn't mind picking up a set of the Flow Forge. Keep an eye on them, see what they're coming out with in the near future. Um, as far as the cast wheels, I think a lot of those would look good. Like I said, older Euro cars, uh, older JDM. Or if you want to throw them on a newer car, go right ahead. It's your call. As far as price-wise goes, your regular one-piece cast, they're starting at, at the 15-inch size. They're starting at around $600, high 500s, depending on what style and size you go with, but I know the 15s, you start around 600, and I think up to the 18s, they end up around eight to 900. Um, as far as the Flow Forge ones here, um, I believe they, they start around $1099 or $1100. So if you're interested in picking up a set of ESM wheels, head on over to fitmentindustries.com. We have plenty of options to choose from. And again, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers and it really helps us out. And I'm Gels from Fitment Industries, not Alex, and we'll see you later. Peace.